welcome back um this little set here a little purple flower i wanted to go a little more simple on this set something that um you can it was inspired by prom season so something that you can wear for like special occasions that's just like cute clean and simple not too much going on and so the products i used was cody poly gel more than and i'm not sure how to pronounce this one so i just call it thin and then um just some 91 percent alcohol that i refill into these little bottles as i go so this poly gel i got from aliexpress i believe it was about four or five dollars for a 30 milliliter tube um they have about 12 colors i believe they do have um builder gels in the jars but just for the poly gel is about 12 colors including a clear and a white all of the colors that I have, I don't have the white and clear, but all of the colors I have, they are all translucent, which is okay for me. I like a good translucent poly gel. All of the poly gels are um, really firm. They like really stiff. If you notice, I'm holding my brush closer to the bristles because they do take a little oomph to move that poly gel where you want it to go. Um, but... Um, I'm sorry y'all I'm really I'm a little sick and I'm trying not to like sniffle and cough but um yeah I, I'd like a good translucent poly gel I like a good stiff poly gel um I will put the link to the products in the description um for anybody's interested but again this poly gel is really really stiff it requires a lot of mm, to like move it around but it stays where you put it so you don't have to worry about the cuticles being flooded or whatever design or shape you're trying to do you don't have to worry about it moving all around plus it is not sticky at all like every time i dip my brush i'm just trying to make sure my brush is clean not so much that um the alcohol is required but um definitely recommend this poly gel again they do have them in jars and they are all translucent but they good you know a tip right at least for me i like translucent poly gels because they um when you do the cuticle area with like a new color that fits you it helps to give the that illusion that that cuticle is super clean even if it's a little wonky so that's why i prefer a um a jelly or translucent poly gel all right so all i pretty much did was squeeze the bead out onto the nail plate kind of squeezing it into the middle of my natural nail so that way i can kind of push and pull it where i need it to go so with a little bit more of a light pressure i'm just pulling it back towards the cuticle area and just wiping that alcohol out of my brush because again this poly gel is not sticky at all and so after i um get it up to the cuticle i like to put my brush in a downward angle and just lightly kind of pat it down and around the cuticle area so um that way it doesn't go under or it's not on the skin and then after that i like to kind of pull it down to my desired length um the pinky i always do that one a little shorter than the rest of them so after i pull it down to whichever number suits me i take a smaller brush and kind of create waves or divots or whatever however you call it or pronounce it but i'm just trying to give a little um wave effect so that way my nail bead won't just be like a simple basic nail bead just to give it a little bit of a flare and then just smoothing it out making sure it's not too thick or too thin in any particular area after doing so i did okay now for the first finger I, I meant for the ring finger i did cure that one by itself but for the pinky and middle finger i did cure them together um one of the things i don't know if y'all noticed it but one of the things about this poly gel is the air bubble is directly in the center of the tube and so when you squeeze um it's like the the jar may feel like is have more product in it than what it actually is and it makes it hard to kind of get the um poly gel out because of that air bubble but you can 
me personally i have done it before just take like a sewing needle or something and kind of stick it into the bottle in the opening just to bust that air bubble once the air bubble is gone it works easy with no problem but that air bubble makes it really hard to push that poly gel out of the jar but um anyway so again i wanted to do something a little more simple so all the nails have the same design i'm just um pulling it down to my desired length and then taking a smaller brush and just pushing it in on the sides just two times and that will give me that wave effect and then I'm going in with my larger brush which is a size 12 and just evening it out making sure it's not too thick or not enough product on one particular side um, definitely want to make sure it's a little thick so that way the next color can sit up against it now this one was um more vans poly gel i like their poly gel this one this or no none of their poly gels are as stiff as that translucent one but they are really easy to use it don't take a whole lot of pressure to move it they're not too runny like they just they, they not sticky they, they really really good um i have quite a few of theirs they have amazing color options um, so I definitely love me some more van, but, um, I get those poly gels from Amazon. Um, I believe I'm going to have to check, but I believe this particular color came out of one of their big collections where I think it was like 36 colors or something. I'll check and add it in the link, but, um, they do i do have another kit with the same exact color if you're interested um just let me know and it's a lot cheaper than that one but all i'm pretty much doing is taking that poly gel and kind of pushing it into those little grooves that i made or those waves that i made what i'm trying to do and i'm still working on it i'm trying to get thin lines and so um although i still want to be creative with my poly gel i'm trying to get like that second color, for instance, this one, that purple, super thin. But um, I'll get it eventually. But that's all I pretty much do for those. Now, these ones, I did cure them, um, the purple, individually. Because, again, they're they easy to use and stuff. But if you wait too long, they will start running. But um, color's very pretty. This was like a neon type purple because i have this exact color in two of my favorite neon kits so i'm gonna go out and say this is a neon purple but um yeah just making sure that it is connected to the previous color and then kind of pushing it in on the sides a little bit just so i can get i'm pretty much outlining the waves that i made with the new color and then after i do that i cure them all and then we'll move on to the next one. So this poly gel is um, Cody's. I got this one from AliExpress. It was also about 4 or $5. Now they have a nice selection of colors. I believe they have roughly about 60 colors. I have maybe about 30 of them. But um, they have a nice little selection. They got like shimmers and glitters and solid colors, new colors. They have a nice little selection of colors. Um, they do take a little longer to get to you coming from AliExpress versus some of the other things from there. But this color was very, very pretty. And um, the thing with this poly gel, all right, so it is stiff. Um... I don't want to, you know, I don't like to compare poly gels to other, but this one remind me of McCart poly gel because it's just as stiff, but it is just as sticky and it cure just as hard. But, um, so with this one, I kind of make it work on this ring finger after I get like the, the shape and everything where I needed it to be. I do wind up, um, which you'll see is coming up soon. I do wind up using base coat and so when the poly gels are very sticky like this i just like to squeeze my little poly gel out into my form and then i like to just take a bottle of base coat regular base coat that come in kits and then just wipe it right on the top of the poly gel and then um 
after wiping this up, I continue on with my regular alcohol slip solution method. Um, the base coat for me, it helps with that stickiness. Like it don't stick to my brush as much or it doesn't stick to the metal part on the brush as much. And then the alcohol helps to eat up some of that base coat so that way it's not real um, slick or slimy. But there's plenty of method. Just the, pretty much the tip is if you have a, um, a super sticky poly gel, just use a little base coat. You can even wipe it directly onto the nail or just put a little bit in a little glass dish or something and then um, use it. It definitely helps with those sticky poly gels but all right so we're just gonna spread that poly gel just trying to make a nail in a sense so all right let's do this again i'm sorry y'all i'm trying not to sneeze but i'm um, just taking some base coat gel dipping my brush in some alcohol wiping off some of the slip and then just push it up against that solid purple and then once i get it fully connected I'll start um, molding it into a nail. Just remember, whenever you use a multiple color poly gels, make sure they are connected. Like, don't leave a gap or a little opening. As long as they're connected, they will cure together fine. But um, after that, we just smooth that poly gel, trying to making sure that it is enough poly gel so it is um, just as wide as my natural nail. And I'm just bringing it down to the desired length, pulling it over, pushing it back into the center because I want the bulk of the poly gel directly down the center of the nail. And then just making sure everything is connected. And then we cure. <clears throat> now, I usually don't leave my thumbs, but my thumb is my favorite nail. But I get asked a lot, why is my thumb so much shorter than the rest of the nails? So, for multiple reasons, but um, one of the reasons are it helps me in everyday life. So, it's so much easier for me to text if my thumb is short or playing my switch or opening shoulders or rolling my window down, picking up little stuff, whatever the task may be. It is easier for me to do it with a short thumb versus a long thumb. And then my second reason is um, I do longer nails. So I still want to practice doing short nails because when I am ready to do others, you know, a lot of people ain't going to come and want no long nail. And so I want to still know how to do short nails. And then I also like to... Be able to show you guys that whatever design that I do on a long nail, it can be done on a short nail. So those are my reasons why I do my thumb shorter than the rest of my nails. So hopefully you guys could stop asking that question. But anyway, um, just try it out though. If if you're not sure about it, just try it out. Try doing one of your thumbs a little shorter and you will see that it makes life a lot easier. But um, anyway, the thumb is pretty much the same nail as the... Re this thumb design is the same nail as the rest of them. Alright, so we're just going to remove the forms. And honestly, they all cured fine. Um, you will see in a second. It's just the, This one here was like a tad bit tacky where the um, more van purple was but for the most part they are cured they all cured hard fine and the underside was um pretty much cured except for a little, little piece there but that's that we'll go ahead and cure those and then um this is just how i clean my brushes especially when i use glitter so i just take a little base coat put it on a napkin run my brush through it and then run the brush through some alcohol just to get out all of the base coat and all of the alcohol and as you can see the brush is back in shape that's a little more harder to do with those orange hair brushes but um black hair brushes works great um now we're just going to clean off all of that sticky layer from the top and underneath and here is the final application you can see they are thick and ugly and need some attention and a whole lot more but we're gonna make these things cute in a second but whoo 
they they was looking a little rough there but okay so i like to just go in with a two-time coarse bit which is typically the bit that had the little orange ring around it and i'm just going to use that bit and um remove all of the thickness all of the bulkiness and with this bit i'm mainly focusing like where the new is because the new color was the thickest of all of the of all three of the colors and so i'm just trying to go in and remove that now what i did do is because this the filing part is chopped up and so i am going to upload this filing um video right behind this video so Pretty much it's just my filing process from start to finish with no cuts or no edits. Of course, I'll do a voiceover, but um, just so you can see my, my whole process on how I file my nails. But um, after I go through all of that, I'm just going to go in with a fine bit um, and just kind of form it into a nail. So just removing the grooves that the other bits have made and just, um, you know, give it a little something. Then I'm going to go in with the extra fine bit around the cuticles. I never skip this step. I always go around those cuticles with an extra fine bit. After that, I like to go in with a hand file and just kind of file around the cuticles and then file down the sides of um, the nail. And I do this on all my nails, same process. But um, just file down the sides of the nail to give it a little bit of a slope. And then file through the whole body of the nail to make sure the whole nail is chalky and make sure the whole nail is even on the surface. Then we're just going to clean up the shape, starting with the sides. I file up and down instead of side to side. Clean the underside up a little bit. And then most importantly, do not forget to file that tip. Just straighten that out a little bit. And so here you have it. Here is the finish product um looking a lot better than they did before super cute but we're just going to go in with some top coat now um i am using the ventilisa top coat is the same top coat i use in every video um my favorite top coat you can get it from aliexpress or amazon but um i'm just going in with some top coat then i'm going to wipe the extra off down the sides of the nail and the tip and then I had already laid out some purple flowers. These 3D flowers I got from AliExpress also. They was about $2 for 10 of them. And I think they had like six or seven different color options. But um, this is like a light purple. And then I just put a little purple rhinestone up at the top just to help bring out that purple some more, that darker purple some more. Now, what I'm kind of wishing I did not do was um, put the flowers on all of them because now I feel like it kind of hid my little design in the middle. Oh, here's it. So I'm putting some top coat on the underside. One, because I want to make sure that glitter show all the way through. But here's a tip. If you use a poly gel and you feel like it didn't cure really hard or it's a little bendable, you can add some top coat on the underside of the nail or even build a gel. Add some um, underneath and cure it along with your top layer on the top surface. And that will give that poly gel a bit more strength. But um, after I do the underside, I cure it. And here is the final set. Here is the final look. They are very pretty. Um, I am going to show you guys in this clip just a better view. Because you couldn't really see it. But the glitter is like purple shimmer with a little bit of a gold to it so it's very pretty in in real life i was trying to capture it as much as i could but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one